Welcome back everyone to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how combine works and kind of how uh, each combine uh, model and how each brand kind of uh, uses a different style of the grain threshing and stuff. I don't know exactly how well I'm going to be able to do this um, to show you. But, uh, like I said, it's kind of ba the basics. Um, the main difference that's the biggest one would be the gleaner and the deer. Um, every or actually, no, the, gle the gleaner and the New Holland are the difference. So, for this one, I'm going to be using the case um, for the main. So, I do have the flashlight on, by the way. So, for the first one, um, so, uh, this is just the combine itself. This, this does not include the header. Uh, or it does, but I'm just not going to use it in this example. So the first thing it does after after it gets cut inside this header here, and it goes inside here, and then it comes up through there. And then this is called the feeder house, which holds the header and stuff. Um, there's basically kind of belts that just kind of bring it around. Um, and sometimes there, sometimes there are augers on the oldest combines that were first made. Then, after it gets to the feeder house... It gets something to what's called a rotor. It'd be right next to these tires here. It it basically just kind of like just kind of just threshes it a little bit, kind of separates the main material from the from the grain. Then the grain drops down, and then on some of them it has a beater, uh, except for the gleaner. The gleaner is the only one that doesn't have a beater. And then it would drop down and in, into here, and then it has like a blowing shaft that kind of blows it through, and then blows all the grain up and then up into here. And then it gets threshed and separates. And then once it does that, it goes back here to the end of the to the other side of the combine, where it comes up here through this grain or through this uh, cross auger, depending on the combine. Um, and then the rest of the stuff just gets shredded in the back here, and then gets spread in the back. But this does not have a shredder. The new Holland one does. So then it basically just gets shredded by this shredder here, spreads it out. Um, they're usually set to, to the width of the header, and then sometimes they're just, if it's wheat or something, or barley, uh, it, it has a deactivation to where it'll just lay itself out in a straight row for bailing. Um, but that's pretty much the basic for, for the New Holland and for the deer, it's the same thing. Sometimes, sometimes the rotor, or the rotor in this combine is sideways, like, like this, and it turns like this inside the combine. And then on uh, the New Holland one, um, it's a really long one, and it has two of them, two different separate sections to where it's in the same area, but it does thresh like this. Same thing here with the gleaner. Um, it also does that as well. And the other difference with this gleaner is when it, after it's done entering the rotor and threshing, when it drops down, it does have two propellers that kind of like squeeze it together, kind of like a brush almost. So, they, so there's two of them, and they, and then the grain falls through the, in between them, and it kind of just like fluffens it out a little bit. And then they also have two accelerator rolls, which kind of also help like just kind of, again, soften it, and it drops down, and then does the same process like everything, like all the rest of these combines. Um, so a lot of people don't know the difference between a draper header and a, a auger header. There are, they do not make draper corn headers because of the uh, styling and stuff of it. So, basically, there's this cutter bar here as, as well as the, oh, this header's messed up. This is the older header. Oops. Um, but anyway, it just claws down on it evenly with the ground. Uh, you can change the height and stuff. It can move up and down. Same thing here with this round. Uh, I don't know what you call, I don't know what you call this, but, um, and then there would be an there would be either be one big auger or a draper belt. A belt. It's basically uh, what what you see on airports, like when you put your baggage on on the weight thing, and then they throw it on this thing that moves, like a belt. That's basically what this is. It's just newer and fancier. Um, but yeah, it's not very big. It's usually flat, and then this this part usually just kind of throws it on top of the belt, then it goes up through there. So onto the corn header here same process uh there's there, there would usually be a bunch of knives that spin around on each side here except for this one it only spins on this side and then it goes on here and most of these have two other than yeah so all of these except these end ones here have two 
and they just kind of spin and cut it. And then it has a little, um, it kind of has like a little belt that pulls it in here, just a small belt. Um, and then it has this auger here that will come in the middle. Same, instead of having this belt here on these regular headers, on these regular grain headers, uh, they would kind of, I don't know where it is, but I have to look for it. But it looks basically like this, but without the belt. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the best of how, the best way I can explain. I will show some pictures at the end of this and say which combine they came from. Uh, just kind of what they look like inside. Uh, if you check out, um, if you check out some of the videos from Gleaner Combines, uh, from the Super Series, Episode 7 Super Series, it will show you kind of, uh, how each, how the Gleaner Combine works in a little bit more detail. If I remember, I will put a link in the description, um, but yeah, that's basically the basic, uh, things of a combine and how it separates. It's pretty simple process. Um, the engine and the rotor and stuff I know can get up to a thousand degrees. They get, they get pretty hot. Um, someone was asking me, uh, the other day what this giant fan is on the back or this big round thing. So you see this here and this here. That's basically just the cooling fan. John Deere's makes theirs covered to keep debris from getting stuck in the fan. And it basically just pull it basically just pulls all of the warm air out of the engine and just out into the air. Um some of the newer combines, like some of the Fent Ideal combines, do suck in the colder air, but because usually when you harvest it's it's in warm conditions, uh it usually pulls air out of it rather than through it. But yeah, that's kind of the basic way how uh, how a combine works. The straw spitters are different on each one. The gleaners is on the left, and then the other ones are usually in the middle. Um, the reason why gleaner does it on the left, I don't know. I don't know why that is. But yeah, their augers, their unloading augers are pretty much the same. Other than gleaners is below rather than a pie because it's gentler on grain. Because when you pull it up here, it's a little bit more rougher, especially if it catches. Where here, it's just a straight flow, kind of like an elevator. So that's kind of gleaner's purpose of doing that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, again, I will put some uh, pictures at the end of this video so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. If you didn't understand this, if you, feel free to rewatch it if you don't understand. And again, like I said, I will put pictures for you guys to see for each combine type. Well, not for every type, but I will. The main ones I will do is New Holland, Case. I don't think I'll do Deer because Deer is pretty similar to Case. But I will do New Holland and Deer and Gleaner for sure. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, hey, hope you guys enjoy the pictures, if I, of course, remember to put them in.